guys, what is going on? Mark Sharky here, back with another video. And in today's video, we are going to be unboxing my new gaming keyboard, the Corsair K70, and then some other stuff like RGB, Lux, whatever. But yeah, here it is. I have just finished uh, recording the unboxing video for this mouse mat, uh, where I actually thought it was going to be the keyboard and it turned out to be the mouse mat. So I'm hoping this is going to be the keyboard now. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get the tape off and open it with you guys. So I'll see you then. Where did you... Okay, all the tape has been removed. I have not opened it. I have not seen what's inside. So here we go. Oh, boy. Oh, RGB lights. So it is, more specifically, it is called the K70 Lux RGB. It is a mechanical keyboard. Uh, Claver Mécanique in French, I believe that is. So let's just... Take this, in fact, we don't need, oh. oh, there we go. So, let me just, oh, okay. Yep, that works as well, that works as well. Okay, so, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of this, this old keyboard. The, I mean, <laughs> the, my old keyboard, the number one key doesn't actually work. Like, look, look, it wants me to enter a pin, all right, I'm gonna press the one key. Nothing, nothing. So yeah, definitely been waiting for this keyboard a while. It's been frustrating to use this old one, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna unplug it and be back with you for the unboxing. Okay, so here it is. The Corsair K70 Lux RGB mechanical keyboard. Got multicolor keys, cherry mechanical switches, RGB red. Um, these are fast and they're accurate. I like RGB red, I feel like it's not too chunky, it doesn't make a loud noise, but it's not like... I just like it, okay? I just like it. It's perfect for me. So yeah, Corsa Gaming. By the way, this box feels absolutely amazing. I mean, I know I didn't buy the keyboard for the box, but still. Uh, well done to Corsa for the packaging. Okay, I'm just gonna put it through my legs and pull it out. There we go. Okay. So. Here we go. Wow. Woo! Hot damn. Alright. Um, everything's attached. So let me unattach it all and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, so here it is. Uh, one thing which is interesting which I just noticed is it has actually two USB cables so it plugs into the PC twice. I'm not sure if that's to make it go faster, I think that's why. There may be another reason. If there is another reason and you guys know what it is, then please leave a comment below letting me know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna plug this in, and I'll be with you in a second. Okay, I just plugged it in, and immediately the first thing I noticed... Look at the RGB! Oh my god! Look at it! It's absolutely crazy! Oh my god, this is spicy RGB! Pair that up with this, we got some spicy RGB going on here. So, uh, this naturally comes in a red RGB, but I made sure that this one, uh, was one of the ones that I can program it to go through any kind of RGB I like. So yeah, we've got this. This is a scroll wheel, because why not? You got, if you need to mute the audio for some reason, boom, right there. Fast forward, all sorts of fancy little buttons here. One, uh, one thing which I haven't shown you yet is this. This is the armrest, which I am gonna attach definitely right now and boom it's really nice really soft literally amazing oh, and these keys just go down so well they just oh and we got so over here they this has actually been vacuum packed but as you can see some of the keys have like a special sort of textures that you can find it quickly so uh, the WASD keys here so like for gaming, if you wanna, like you don't wanna look, you just wanna know where the WASD keys are, so you can put your fingers on them and go gaming. So yeah, they have those uh, keys. They also have, I believe that is a B, O, R, F, W, and D. But I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sure why those keys are particularly significant. But yeah, also another thing which I do wanna note is this uh, spacebar, it has like a different texture as well. Just 
don't know why, because the space bar is pretty big. You can't really miss it. But, oh, God. So, uh, I'm actually going to work out how to... Oh, let me get rid of this. Oh, there we go. So, I'm actually going to work out how to program the RGB lights. And uh, I'm going to hook them up. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys. Future Mark here. Basically, I just wanted to show you something quickly. Uh, there is the pro this program called the Corsair ICUE. If you launch it up, it'll take you to something which looks a little like this. Now, this is where you program the RGB lights for your keyboard. So now it's Halloween, obviously. Uh, it, it's actually been a while since I filmed this video that I've had time to edit it. But now it's Halloween, kind of. It's the 21st as of when I am filming this. So uh, it'll be Halloween soon. I'm getting into the Halloween spirit. So as you can see, I've got it set. If you look in the lighting effect, I've got it set as... Uh, Lighting link. Oh, so I've got it as you can see down here. It says rain. I've got it set as rain, and I've got it alternating between green and purple, as you can see, and that gives it like this Halloween sort of effect. And then here I've got this thing called type lighting enabled, which alters between orange and green. So every time I press a key. A burst of orange comes, next time a burst of green, burst of orange, burst of green. And so when you're typing, you get bursts of colours, and it completely changes the way the keyboard looks. Honestly, the customizations are amazing. And you can save different profiles, so as you can see, this is my Halloween one. The default profile looks a little like this, it's just completely rainbowed out, literally. It's, oh, this is honestly one of my favourite profiles. I had this for so long, but now for Halloween, uh, I've been spicing things up a bit. If you want none, you can literally have none, but who wants none? I mean... RGB lights are the best. Uh, this one is very, very colourful. I literally, for this one, if you look at my lighting effects, I just layered as many different colours as I could. So you've got like a spiral rainbow in the background, but loads of different things, and then when you type, it like goes mad, literally, with colour. Uh, it's beautiful, but it can be a little over the top sometimes, uh, which is why I like things which are a little bit more subtle, like the Halloween sort of thing. Uh, it's a bit more subtle. I might spice it up a bit and make it a bit more, like, unsubtle. But yeah, I really like it at the moment. I think it's really cool. Um, uh, when Christmas comes around, in fact, you know what, let's make one for Christmas. So I'm gonna take you over to my PC right now and we're gonna make a Christmas one. Okay guys, so here we are, we are at the ICUE. Uh, this is the Halloween setup and I'm just gonna take you through how to make the Christmas setup if you want to Christmas. You can do anything you want. So press new. I'm going to rename it to Christmas because that's going to be the theme. Okay, and I'm going to drag it out to the top because we're going to be using that soon along with the Halloween one. And now go away from profiles and we're going to go into lighting effects. And we're just going to press add. Okay, by default when you add something it'll add a spiral rainbow. Uh, but for example, say we can have a static color. And, you know, red's quite a Christmassy colour, but say we want to alternate it between red and green, we can have a little bit of red here, and you just press add here, and then you add another one, and say we want this to be green, and it just sort of flashes through it. You can change the speed, etc., all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so basically I've just added a solid red colour as, like, the background for this uh, theme, and then here I'm going to add a wave, so I'm going to have a little bit of green going on, a little bit of green waving across, okay, and we're also going to add some blue, like a dark blue, and that's going to shift across. I want to increase the velocity to about 50, and I want to, I want it to have like a large tail, I want it to be like a, a big thing. Maybe that's a bit too fast actually, I feel like 20 is nice, but I just want it to get to the end. So, I feel like 30 maybe, it'll get to the end. 40 maybe? 40, okay. 40 is good. Covers the whole thing this way. I like that.
Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't really know, I'll play around with this a bit more later, but come close to Christmas. So, we've got like a red and green gradient background going on, and then we're topping it up with a wave, and then the type lighting for even more red and green. It's just red and green mania, really. Uh, maybe for the type writing, I'll have a bit of white going on in there. So, it's a bit of white and a bit of red, maybe. I quite like that. Then there's like a candy cane. Oh, I really like that, actually. Okay, so we're just gonna go with that. I think that looks really good. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to hit 1,000 subs by the end of this year, and your help would be absolutely awesome. With all that out of the way, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and I'll see you in the next one. If you want more unboxings, then be sure to check out the mouse unboxing. We've got the mouse mat unboxing. We've got the uh, <laughs> we've got the Logitech webcam unboxing. We've got the PC unboxing. We've got a bunch of unboxings. So go check them out, guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.